Welcome everyone. Uh, this week we are working on strengthening our glute muscles. Uh, so um, the glutes are the largest group of muscles in the body and they're often referred to as the body's engine because they're the real powerhouse for any sort of forward movement, um, walking or running or jogging or climbing or jumping. We really use um, the glutes for all of those movements and it can really make us move faster too. What happens when we haven't got strong glutes is we can often get, uh, there's a thing called gluteal amnesia, and that's when um, the body sort of forgets how to activate the butt muscles basically, and or just from sitting too long at a desk all day, um, and so they become, the butt muscles become very lazy, and the body starts to rely on muscles through the lower back and the hamstrings instead, and so this can cause issues with back um, and hips and the uh, strong muscles, uh, butt muscles also really keep your knees nice and safe too, take a lot of pressure off them. So lots of good reasons to uh, strengthen up through uh, the glutes. So we're going to start today just lying down on our backs, so let's just make our way down. And just a bit of a gentle warm up through the ankles and wrists to start, so just raise all the limbs up towards the ceiling. And just rotate ankles and wrists in one direction. And back in the opposite direction. And back to centre. Take the feet down, hip width apart. Arms beside the body, roll the shoulders under a bit for a couple of bridge rolls. So flatten the back into the floor, raise the hips up, inhale, and exhale, roll the spine back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up and hold this time. And release down. So we're going to come through to table position. You can roll onto your side or roll yourself up, whichever way suits, and come onto your hands and knees. Okay, so we're going to start just by taking the right leg back behind us. And just hold there for a moment, really feel that strength through the right glute. And cross that leg, cross the body, tuck the toes, inhale, draw the right shoulder forward, look back to the tuck toes. Look back to centre, draw that foot all the way around to the side. I'm going to turn around and face you, though I'm probably opposite limbs to you now. That's okay. And let's come down and just rest down here, feeling that stretch through the inner extended leg. Now take that back foot flat so you can come back and sit on the heel if that's comfortable for you. You might want to stay up a bit higher if that suits you. We'll do this three times. Inhale, so bring the shoulders over the wrists and exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And this time we'll come back and stay there. That's too much on your leg. We'll just take the leg back. You can even come and stack the fists under the forearm. And let's come back up. Good. Bring that leg back behind you as we come back into table position. With that same leg, just extend it out to the back. Raise the opposite arm up and just pulse that leg up, two, three, four, six, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen and hold, release down, good work. Ready for the other side, left leg back, feel that activation through that left glute and hold. 
Let's cross that leg across the body, tuck the toes, draw the left shoulder forward, look back, breathe into the side body. Knees back to centre, bring that foot all the way to the side and just come down, rest here for a moment. Take the back foot flat and come back and sit on the heel. We're going to raise up out of this three times. So inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale back to hold. You can leave the arms extended or make fists. Draw that leg back behind you. Back to table position. Take that left leg back once more. I'm going to raise the opposite arm. And let's pulse that leg up. Two, three, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold the leg up. Down. Take the knees wide, extended child's pose. And then make your way through to downward dog. And we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet today. And we'll hang here for a moment. Wrap your hands around the elbows. Nice bend in the legs, protecting that lower back. Inhale. And exhale. Walk to the front of your mat. Good. We're going to inhale up and come up, come into our chair pose. So inhale, raise the arms up, palms facing each other. Send the sit bones back and hold it here. And let's release to the floor as we come into half lift. Exhale down. Step your right leg back. You can leave the knee up or drop the knee. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Oh. Come back to plank position. Yeah, I'm all lower down, whichever way you choose. I'm going to drop the knees and I'm going to come into baby cobra. Making your way back to downward dog. Raise the right leg up. And step all the way through. Left leg. Inhale all the way up. And come back into chair pose. Release, forward fold, <clears throat> half lift. Exhale. Left leg back. Plank position. Move through your flow. Downward dog. Raise the left leg up. And step forward. Right leg. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down. Half lift. Release. Send the right leg back, plank position, down dog, and come into table. 
good. So I'm going to come into half plank here. So I need you to spin your left foot around, tuck the toes, extend the right leg. So you've got your left hand, left foot, left knee, sorry, and the right foot all in alignment. Hold it there, raise your upper leg and hold. If you want, come into sugar cane or variation of sugar cane and release. And come back to table position. As we do the other side, send the right foot out, tuck the toes, extend the left leg, raise up and hold. Raise that upper leg. Nice and strong, feel it in the core and feel the activation in the uh, upper glute. If you like, variation. You could just still have that left foot on the floor. And release out. And release back. Good. A few cat cows while we're here, so just inhale as we send the chest forward. Exhale around the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back to table position. Just send your knees back or lengthen out your table a little and come all the way to the floor. Good work. All right, so working through the glutes here. I'm just going to send, take the arms out in front. Forward comes to the floor. Raise the right leg and hold. Really feel that activation through the right glute and raise the opposite arm. You can raise the head at this point too. And let's swap. So left leg, right arm. You really feel it through the lower back and really through the glutes here. And swap. And swap. And swap. And swap. And swap. And swap. And lastly, raise both legs, both arms and hold. And make your way back to white legged child's pose. And raise your head and make your way to downward dog. Raise the right leg. I'm going to step through. You can always drop to your knees if you want. I'm going to come up to a high lunge. So find your easiest way to come up. If you need to shorten your stand, you can be here. You can have the back foot turned out. Whatever suits. And just holding it here. Bring your hands into prayer. We're going to step forward into warrior three. I'm just going to move back a little bit. So <clears throat> just raising the left leg. Take the arms back and hold. Stepping back. Well done. Bring your hands down to the hips. With that back leg, I just want you to drop the knee. And this might suit you. If it doesn't, just stay where you are. Otherwise, down, down. Down, down, down. One more. As we come up, hands come into prayer, and we come into more of a lunge twist. You can drop the back knee if it's too much. And bring the hands back to the floor as we come back to plank position. We're going to lower all the way to the floor. Well done. All right, so this time just bring the arms back beside the body. As we inhale, raise the head, raise the chest. 
raise the legs and hold. Release and make your way back to extended child's pose. And through to down the dog. Raising the left leg this time, stepping through, coming up to your high lunge. And hold. Bring the hands into prayer. Step your way through to warrior three. Oops, losing my balance. And stepping back to your high lunge. Bring your hands to your hips. So you can either just hold this pose here or work with me, dropping your back knee down and up, down and up, down. And one more. Hands to prayer, lunge twist. Hands back, plank position. Good work. Drop the knees as we come back to table. All right. So from here, we're going to what, turn around to face you. So we're going to send the left leg back. So mirror me. Bend the leg and then take that foot up towards the ceiling. So you just feel that left glute activate, bring the knee back down, and then still with the leg bent out to the side, and down, and up, and down, out, and down, up, out, up, out, one more up, and one more out, and down, good work, just move the hips a little from side to side, we're ready for the opposite side, so extend the leg out, bend the leg, and pulse the leg up till you feel that right glute activate, keep the leg bent, bring the knee down, and out. And down and up. And down and out. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. And one more of each. Down and out. And down and up. And release. I really need a good stretch through the glutes here, so I'd come back into classic child's pose. So you can either have your hands stacked or hands back beside the body, preferably. Back to table, we'll take the knees wide, feet wide, we're coming back into squat. So we're coming up and down out of squat. If you don't like the squat, if it doesn't suit your knees, just come up into that wide sort of legged or feet as wide as your mat, forward fold and stay there. Otherwise just hold it here for a moment, nice and long through the back. And take the hands to the floor and just lift up a little. And just lifting up and then all the way up, look back between the knees, come back down, do it halfway 
and then back. Keep the hands where they are the whole time. So half lift, all the way lift, half lift, and down. Half lift, all the way lift, half lift, and down. One more, half lift, all the way lift, half lift, and down. Good work, let's walk ourselves back out to table position. Just one cat cow here, send the chest forward as we breathe in. And let's hold that cat stretch as we breathe out. coming back to center position. All right, so from here, I want you to send that right leg back again and take the left arm out. Let's do those pulses again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, and hold. Release. Send the left leg back, nice and active, through the glute, right arm out. And pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold the leg up. And release. Well done. One more cat cow. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, round the back and hold. And coming back. All right, so let's come into a sitting position with the legs out in front. And let's bend this. Uh, what will it be? Your right leg, and we've got the left leg extended. So arms on the side of the extended leg as we inhale, breathe in. Exhale, lower down over that leg. Now you can use a strap to put around your foot. You can have the hands resting on the floor. Or if you're reaching over the foot, you're going to take the left hand first and the right hand on the top layer. Take your uh, right hand behind your left hand to the outside of the knee. Nice straight arms. We inhale, find our length, and exhale, little twist. As you turn your gaze back to me, raise this arm up. Now you can either just stay here and get this stretch through the side body or lift onto the back hand, the knee and the foot, and find another side stretch there. You can look towards the ceiling, you can look down towards the floor, whatever's comfortable on your neck, whatever feels good for you. And oh, let's come back down. Good. So one thing with yoga, there's never one size fits all. We're all unique and different, so for one pose to suit everybody, it just doesn't work. Let's do the other side. Inhale. And exhale down. ourselves up. And your left hand behind, right hand to the outside of the knee. Breathe in, find your length. Breathe out, find the gentle twist. Yeah, release. Take that palm upwards as you push up. 
or just stay down, whatever suits. chest and give ourselves a little bit of a rock from side to side here. And back to centre. Place the feet on the floor, hip width apart, pushing your weight when we raise the hips into the balls of the big toes. So really plant them into the floor now, draw the shoulder blades down. We're going to inhale up for bridge. We're going to roll in and out a few times. So breathing in, hips rise up. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold this time. You can keep the hands where they are. Just try and walk the shoulder blades under a bit more if you can manage. You might have the space to interlace the hands under the body and just hold, really activate, feel the activation through the glutes and the strengthening through the back in this pose. Keep pushing the balls of the big toes into the floor, feel the chest coming up to meet the chin or moving in that direction and hold. floor. Bring your right knee to the chest, interlace the hands over the knee, extend your left leg out. Draw the knee up to the, or the forehead up to the knee and hold. Release the head down, let's swap over. Left knee, draw it in, both feet flexed. Release. In final pose, we're going to do recline pigeon to really stretch through those glutes that we've worked quite hard today. Let's bring the left ankle up onto the right knee, draw behind the right thigh. Both feet are flexed. You can use a strap to do this if you want as well. And just hold it. You should be feeling that beautiful stretch through the left hip and glute area. Just breathe into it. Down. Both feet to floor, right ankle to left knee, draw behind the thigh. Both knees to chest, a little rock to side to side. Yeah, making your way into Shavasana when you feel ready. So stretching out, feeling free to have something underneath your knees if you like. Just have that. Arms just away from the body, and palms facing upwards or inwards. Close your eyes and mouth. As you make yourself as comfortable as possible, drop the shoulders, allow the chest to be soft. The tongue relax, the jaw release. As you just allow your body to rest easily. Notice this is the breath in, and this is the breath out. Just 
taking a few nice deep breaths like that to settle yourself into this moment. Feeling the weight of your body on the floor. Feeling any tension melting away with each nice deep breath that we take. Just notice the rise and fall of the belly with each breath. Gently expanding, gently condensing. Each focused breath, a meditation. Each focused breath, healing your body. Allowing yourself to rest in this present moment. The present moment asks nothing of you. It demands nothing from you. And it accepts you exactly as you are right now. Just allowing yourself to be exactly as you are right now. This is the breath in. This is the breath out. back to the weight of your body resting on the floor, picturing the room you're in and just sparking some life back into the fingers, maybe the toes. Stretching yourself out. And slowly making your way onto your right side and up into a sitting position. And you feel free to join us for the mantra OM or just to listen, it's up to you. Hands in prayer, thumbs at heart centre, breathing in. to the eyebrow centre and repeat after me. Namaste. Thanks everyone for joining me this week and I hope to see you next week.